Alright, so this is May 2013. Module 2. Alright, an information technology system or information system can be described as a collection of components used to produce quality information. Apart from users, identify three other components of an information technology system. That would be hardware, software, and users. No, not users. Hardware, software, and networking. Right? Outlines the role of users as a component of information technology system. Users can be experts who can troubleshoot issues and users can be general users who report bugs in the system. I'd say they can have an expert user or a general user. There are many different types of information technology systems. One example is a MIS management information system. Identify two other types of information technology systems. Two other types would be executive information system. Executive, exec, executive information systems. And um, expert systems. And transaction processing systems, etc. Describe the function of each of the information technology systems identified in C part 1 above. Wow, okay. Let's go with executive first. Executive is used to gather data and create information for long-term decisions. Long-term decisions. Decision making. Um, transaction that's used to to collect um, repetitive data. R E P E T I T I P E T I T I P. Repetitive data that is processed in almost the same way every time. Uh, explain using an appropriate example why it is useful to distinguish between the categories of users and information technology system. Um, because it is important because some users can be asked to make minor changes to the system or settings because they are expert users whereas regular users can't reliably make changes to settings because they don't understand how it works. Yeah. All right. So two types of users would be. Yeah, I give an appropriate example. Yeah. They make um, changes to the system. Yeah. Um. No. Look for an example just to be sure. Example. Um. Changing the settings on a cash register to apply discounts. Only managers could do that. Only managers should yeah. right, only managers should do that yep that's good all right define the terms authentication and authorization authentication is the um when usernames and passwords match authorization is having access to a particular part of a system. Usability and security are two factors that must be considered in the, design, in the design of a computer. A user interface is to be designed for an automated telemachine. It is intended that the ATM will be used by both sighted and visually impaired persons. Important, sighted and visually impaired. Those are your cases. For each of the following technologies, describe one design feature that can be incorporated to assist in the, the visually impaired person using the ATM. Right, a visually impaired, visually impaired, um, the card reader should blink green, green or red, or red, so that it can be noticed, noticed easily by a visually impaired person. Data entry by the user, for example, pin, identification number, account number, the, um, what's called this thing? The keypad should have corresponding real um real symbols on the keys so they can be felt nice 
all right commands and results from the system to the user for example account balance or request for pin the headphone jack should be available or headphone port a headphone port should be available so that users can plug in their headsets to hear the feedback um, describe two additional security features other than the use of a pin that would be appropriate for the ATM. What? A door? A physical door that only opens for a valid card. Alright, and two, a camera that monitors who comes in or out. Good. Next, state three features of a strong password. Um, eight to twelve characters in length. Oh, but eight to sixteen. Eight to sixteen characters in length. Um, alphanumeric. Alphanumeric. No use of common dictionary words. And you could also throw in symbols too. Symbols like hashtag exclamation mark question mark forward slash backslash dash yeah. Let me three. Um the World Wide Web is an interconnection of hypertext documents accessible to internet users. Write each of the following acronyms and explain its function in the context of HTML is hypertext markup language. Um this is used to send and receive html documents from a client to a server yeah http oh no i mix them up this this is the explanation for http right so this is hypertext transfer protocol right this is used to send and receive html documents from clients to server right? html Hypertext markup language. This is used to create web page documents that would make up a website. Okay. URL stands for Uniformed Resource Locator. This is used. This is used to create a link linkable address to a web page or website on the internet all right state one example of a domain name and one example of an ip address a domain name is www.pets.com ip address is 192.168.10.51 51 once you have four four sets of numbers highest possible values 255 should be okay the power value does more than 255 that would be wrong explain why a domain name is more frequently used than an ip address for locating a website our whole formats by we it is difficult to remember a string of numbers for every website using words that are easy to remember and are and, and contextually relevant to the site would make things a whole lot easier example facebook.com stretching for this format here facebook.com this is 172.0 31.12.9 yeah i would explain and it's four marks train our example just to be sure all right the tcp ip is an important aspect of the internet the diagram below illustrates the protocol layers explain the purpose of each layer all right physical layer would be um the ones and zeros on the wire network access will be the mac address and um, creation of packets ip would be the assigning an ip address to find the host tcp would be um disassembling slash reassembling groups of packets an application would be um presenting the data in an appropriate application software application yeah software application all right that would be module two